This year marks the 40th anniversary of Vintage Days. Advisor Josh Edrington explains what inspired students back then to start this Fresno State tradition. There was no major events to kind of unite the campus. Um, fun activities that students can, can get together and compete against each other in challenges. So there was that element to it, and um, there was the element of wanting to, to celebrate the local harvest. Fresno State is known as an agriculture community, and Josh says the festival also served as an open house to showcase the university. This three-day event is packed with many activities for all ages. There's entertainment, there's a beer and wine garden, there's a crafts fair, uh, there's a kid zone, there's a boom tent area, so there's plenty of food. There's something for everyone at Vintage Days, and I think that's why it's such a hit. One activity geared only to Fresno State students is a Wild Cherry Vintage Challenge. It is the first time Pepsi has ever sponsored this activity, so expect lots of good prizes. It will not only test students' mental abilities, but their athleticism as well. Expect running around campus, relay type uh, activities, um, scavenger hunt. It's going to be a lot of fun. The Special Events Committee is looking for 40 teams of 4 people each. The entry fee per team is $20. To register, contact USDO Room 306. Vintage Days kicks off with a pancake breakfast in the morning and with outdoor movie Frozen at sunset. More than 50,000 people are expected to attend. And with Vintage Days just two days away, let the countdown begin. Juliana Gomez, Fresno State Focus.